Well, I made it to Machu Picchu and I'm starting the tour. So I'm on circuit two, which goes around the majority of the site. It's absolutely amazing, even without the Inca side, just the mountains. That's crowded, surprisingly. So surprisingly, it's really not that crowded. I'm actually alone, I can talk. Uh, I thought it would be far for worse. So I'm here at one in the afternoon. And that seems to be a good time. Checking out the town now. It looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm a couple of steps up near Plaza de Armas. I have to go up a few steps in the little hill every time I go to my hotel. And now I'm going to see the churches. Look at this stone. I guess they have Pride Months here too. This is a um, convent built on the ruins of some Incan building. So, going up the bell tower.
starting the rainbow mountain hike uh, it's about one hour to get there and we're now at 4700 meters altitude <laughs> so far no altitude sickness so i thought it would be really cold and i'm wearing seven layers but it's actually quite warm 10 to 15 degrees i would say so yes this is the way and it looks very, very far and high up. My heart is racing already. And the sun is very strong. I walk for two meters and I'm already out of breath. I just stopped every... 10 meters or so. It's not so much the hike, more like the altitude that is difficult, but I think I'm gonna make it. I've got snacks and water. I'm at the first viewpoint. There are 50 people in line for the shot. Look at that queue. So that's the next stop up there. Now the real climb begins. This place is so crowded. It's unbelievable. I'm starting to do a mountain lake hike. It is a bit chillier than yesterday. Yeah, about 10 degrees. So it's definitely less crowded here. We're like the only tour group. Gotta take care not to step into horse manure. I guess I'm leading this from some guys from the Netherlands. I guess we're going up this green hill on the top. And from there, you can see the lake. Okay, so the trail is now a bit steeper. I would say 50%, 60% incline. Going up in zigzag. We're gonna be the first ones up at the lake today, which is good because tomorrow, uh, yesterday, was a bit too crowded for my taste. And I think I prefer this hike to the one yesterday. It's less dusty and sandy. So we've been walking for almost half an hour from this camp down there. This one, since I'm pretty fast, I think it should be another half an hour. Because the track is one hour from down there, or one and a half. For the slow people, we've also started earlier today. Today we started at around 8 and yesterday at 9. 
better. It's pretty much the same cloudless sky. So now I'm climbing up the rocks and over the hill. On here, it took me one hour exactly to get up here. down now and there's a lot of traffic now there's a lot of people coming up and it's pretty crowded up there so I'm lucky I made it in the morning when there was nobody Bad for the horses, we have to climb up here every day, a few times a day. And I think this was the most beautiful day I've had here. Well, that one, not too picture. Okay, I came back pretty early from Umanta Lake today, so I still have some time to explore the city. And I'm now in the Sun Blast neighborhood, uh, it's up the hill. In the north of Cusco, I think. Um, quite a few cafes and bars up here, and you have an overview of the city, which I might watch at sunset today. The artsy neighborhood. Your morning shines in city clothes in our bed. Birds are singing on my head. We'll wake. I'm just going up to Sexy Hellman by foot. I thought I've done enough hiking yesterday. Check out these big stones. Okay, so if you turn left to Kursmukti at the beginning, you walk for a little while and then you get to a viewing platform high above the city. Look at those stones. It's quite a big sight. Isn't that strange? There must be some heavy men who carry these stones. The stones are even more fascinating than at Machu Picchu. They are much bigger. I think we can carry that one. I think the site is just as great as Machu Picchu. Just the location isn't as amazing. Because it's not so high up on the mountain. But the stones surely are a sight to see. 
Of course, I believe the alien theory. That's just me. Actually, I don't think it's aliens. I think they had some advanced technique to make those stones really light and soft, and so they can put it all together. Well, that's not my theory. I think they have there's some people claiming that. It's a massive, like two meters by one and a half or something. 